Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Jerry. Hi. Okay. Okay, so who do we have today? In Rodrigo, we have uh, <clears throat> nine people, eight. Rodrigo, Evelyn, Susana, and Evelyn. Okay. Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're gonna get aesthetic. Okay, I'm going to play a little bit of the- um, S-T-A-Y-E-D. Shop, shop, S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would <clears> like <throat> to get started. Okay, from this part, okay, we're going to review this part just to refresh what we did last night, okay, in the last uh, four minutes. With positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement. 
on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and coworkers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so this is, this is the Hi one. everyone. Mm -hmm. In this class, you'll learn to f yourself, family, friends, and coworkers. For example, my friend didn't stay home. Okay, these are the ones that we're going to practice today, right? Uh, we have the affirmative sentence, and then we have the negative sentence. I watched television, uh, television on Monday, and okay, but I didn't exercise on Monday, right? So then one thing you did, and one thing you didn't do, okay? And but before, Before we do that practice, what we have here, the knowledge check. And then the instruction said, say, uh, say, change the verb in parentheses to the past to, to complete the story. You don't need to type a period. It is already played, right? So it says on Friday night, then here, what you have to do is to use I wait or I waited. Which one is the verb that should be better? I wait. Okay, I waited. Okay, um, the second document, the second document that I sent tonight, uh, it's about the pronunciation, right? Now, uh, in present, you say wait, right? But when you put the ED, you add an extra syllable. And then you say waited, okay? So that's the pronunciation in, in past tense, okay? I wait, I waited, right? 
eh, en, la, en el segundo documento que les envío hoy, esa, ese es el ejercicio, las tres pronunciaciones of the past tense. Ok, que vamos a ver un video más adelante. Ok, wait, wait. But my girlfriend not called. So? Didn't call. Didn't call. Didn't call. You say didn't call. Algunas veces les va a dar problema esta cajita por el apóstrofe. Que tal vez le pongan ustedes correcto, pero esta, este apóstrofe aquí a veces es diferente en las, eh, en las máquinas de uno, right? Next. I just stay home and... And what? Watch TV. Watch. Okay, watch. This is with a T at the end. Waited, what? Okay, what? Past tense. Good. On Saturday, the pronunciation of this is in past tense is similar to wait. Then you would say, on Saturday, Say visit, wait, similar. Wait, wait. Visit. 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 Okay, then when I say visit. Okay, todos los que terminan en T o en D, eh, they have the extra syllable. Okay, waited, visited, needed. Okay, then we talked and You know what? Only the, only the. What's the past tense of this one? Listen it. Listen. Okay, listen. There you go. And the, the next one says in the evening, he invited. Some friends over and we and we cook. Cook. Okay, here. Yeah, let me see what is it the talk here. En estos tres verbos están las tres pronunciaciones que existen en past tense. Visited, talked, and listened. Aquí es una extra sílaba. Visited. Aquí se pronuncia como te talked. And this one is a D. Listened. Cooked. Okay. Now the next one. This is cooked. And this is similar. Este es similar. Termina con K. What's the next one? Negative. Didn't work. I? I didn't work. I didn't work. Okay, good. Okay, so I didn't work. And then the other one is? Negative two. I didn't study. I didn't study. And the last one? I just walked to the mall and chopped and shopped. There you go. Okay, so there you have the verb in past tense. Waited, didn't call, watched, visited, listened, cooked didn't work, didn't study, and shop. Okay, so these are the ones that we have. So the next one is the, you will learn to sound natural when using regular simple past verbs. Okay. 
Now I'm going to play the video. And then we go to the practice. different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a T, D, or it sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a boy's sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has the sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to offer it. Okay. <clears throat> this, is, this is what you got in, the, in that page that I gave you. If you see the verbs finish or that end with the T or D, todos los verbos regulares que terminan T and D, you will pronounce it, right? Wanted, needed, visited, decided, okay? So you're going to use uh, like an extra syllable, wanted, needed, okay? And this one, the sounds son los voiceless. Uh, in the video says that produce no vibration in our vocal cords. Okay, you say la letra es P, but the sound is P. 
this is like an F. And this is like a Z, right? In theta. Yes. This is dense, dense, dense. This thick, thick. So you have helped, looked, watched, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, and fixed. Okay, todos los que suenan así con estas P, K, D, H, no vibration, los voices, sonido de P al final. Okay, don't worry if you don't do it or if you don't remember, right? Uh, now, this needs a lot of practice. Uh, that exercise that I sent you, I les mandé una hojita para que hagan ejercicio. And tiene las respuestas, las ven después, right? Que hagan el ejercicio para que se autocalifiquen. Okay? No lo van a hacer al revés. Okay, good. And then the other one is cold. D, cold. Porque este ya. Es el Luis, right? Lorena. La. Then this is vibration, so it's cold. Cleaned. Offered. Damaged. Damaged. Loved, used, used, followed, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Okay. Uh, also, usually when people speak, they these sounds are very difficult to identify, right? So, but uh, but they but they do it. Okay, but they do it. Okay, now we're going to do some practice like we did last night. Remember that we were practicing about the a, using the the sentences uh, negative or now we're gonna use negative and affirmative. Okay, you can use first the affirmative or first the negative. That is optional, right? There is no, there is no problem. If you say, for example, uh, this morning I woke up late. So I didn't take a shower. Okay, this morning I woke up late. Okay, so I didn't take a shower. Or you can say this morning I didn't take a shower. Because I didn't wake up early. Or because I woke up late. Okay, you see there are different forms, different ways to say the same thing. Uh, let's write here an example. Just let me. Okay, an example could be if you use I well, I went uh, let me see I played software today. I didn't Okay. I play soccer today. I didn't play basket. Okay, so you think about um that's it a situation like that in your day. To say for example, I cooked, I cooked long food today, I didn't 
cook dinner. Uh, I, I didn't do the laundry today. I cleaned the house. Okay, I didn't watch TV today. I listened to music. Or vice versa, right? I listened to music today. I didn't watch TV. Okay, something that you did, something that you did. Okay, just remember that we have to use the um, simple present, no, so, sorry, the verb in simple past. If it is affirmative, then in the negative, you're going to use the auxiliary verb didn't plus the verb in infinitive form. Okay, good. Sentence. You want to write it? Si quieren escribir una para acordarse, and then pueden improvisar, no problem. Ok, mientras piensan, voy a tomar un screenshot para la asistencia. Antes que se me olvide. Okay, here we go. If you want, where is it? Here. Ok, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, just a second one for the second part. Here we go. Okay. Now, what's going to be the first one? In Salima. ¿Quién es el primero? Thank you, Natalie. Ah. Ok. Who's going to be the first? Susan. I did it. Ok, you did. Go ahead. I didn't clean my house because I was so busy. Okay, I didn't clean the house because I was. That's the first thing to work I was so busy. Good to do. Very good. Okay. Who else? Just like that. If you see two verbs, one in negative, one in affirmative. The idea is that you remember and produce the negative and affirmative form. So I woke up morning today. I didn't work. Uh, it has to be something different. Okay. I have to say I worked all morning today. I didn't work uh, in the afternoon, for example. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Miriam, you have your right, uh, hand up. Go, Miriam. Hey, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I went to the hospital, but I didn't laundry my clothes. But I didn't wash my clothes. Okay. Laundry is like the noun, right? But I... I didn't wash. Okay. Or, or you can say, I didn't do the laundry. Oh, okay. I didn't do the laundry or I didn't wash my No. Uh, okay, but I didn't... Mm -hmm. Wash, wash. You didn't wash. Wash my, wash my clothes. clothes. Yes. Wash. Wash. Okay, wash. Let. Wash. Like that. Like the car wash. Okay. You didn't wash. Okay, good. Anybody else? I yes, Erlene. Exercise. I didn't do exercise because I cleaned the house. Because I cleaned the house, yes. I, well, that's a good exercise too, Evelyn. <laughs> okay. So I didn't do exercise because I cleaned the house. Good. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Your teacher. Okay. 
I didn't work because it's difficult for the pandemic. I didn't work because it is difficult because it's difficult. The uh -huh, yes. I didn't work for the, because yes. it's difficult for the pandemic. Okay. Good. That's past meet and present, but no problem. It's good. Yes, Arturo. Yes. Uh, I use uh, use uh, my cell phone in the morning and in the afternoon. I work. I didn't work in my computer. Okay. Very good. Nice. Excellent, Diego. Okay. Good. Another one. Another one. You see, you are using different verbs. That's nice. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, Adrian and then uh, Jorge. Okay. Hor okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I enjoyed a movie tonight. I didn't stay at the bank. Okay, very good. I enjoyed the movie tonight. I didn't stay at the bank. Good. Thank you, uh, Jorge. Okay, teacher. Uh, I couldn't watch a series this morning because I worked all, all morning today. Okay, that's correct. I couldn't and I work. Okay. I couldn't watch the TV series tonight, uh, this morning because I work all morning. Good. Okay, very nice. Creative, creative, very nice. I like that. Who else? Aida? Me teacher. Uh, okay. Okay, Claudia. Okay. Um, okay. I did. Hola. I lost, I lost Claudia. Claudia, where are you? We lost contact. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, Aida. Hi. 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 Okay, wait. Claudia is on the other side. Same as saying. Okay, Claudia. Uh -huh. este, I work, I work well for last night. No, I work uh, for the morning. Mm -hmm. And I I play, no, I runners. And for last night. Okay, so then I work. You say I work. I work. Uh, I work. I work in the morning. Uh -huh. In the morning. Yes. And then um, I didn't I didn't uh -huh. I didn't run run in the for la, in the in the afternoon. Afternoon. Sí. Okay. Now look at, the, look at the chat. Oh, no, wait, wait, I just want to, uh, wait a minute. Okay, you have to, this is your sentence, okay, so that you can, Okay, like that. Okay, I worked in the morning and I didn't run in the afternoon. Okay, run. Remember, run is the action, runner is the person. Okay, thank you, Claudia. And then um, Aida? I think you were ready. I didn't get up early because later I'm sleepy. Because I, okay, you can use over, look at this is una, this is otra palabra. 
you see overslept overslept means o significa quedarse dormido ok dormirse después de la hora right like the, the, you say for example I uh, what was the first sentence Aida because I didn't wake up early I didn't wake up early uh -huh. mm -hmm. because later in uh, sleepy I overslept let me say I overslept so me quedo dormido ok ok good uh, somebody else uh, Mariela do you have one? Okay. Hi, Mariela. I think she can hear me. Hi, good evening. Okay, hello, good evening. Okay, uh, I went into the office my job. I don't know if it is my... I don't know if it is my computer, but I don't hear you guys. Let me check the, my connection. And let's see if it improves. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Now, can you repeat the sentence, Mariana? Okay, I went to the office today, but I didn't finish my job. Okay, very good. Now I can hear you. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Um, then that's a good one. Okay. Anybody else who wants to, Rodrigo or somebody who wants to share? Uh, Ismael, tell us a sentence. I studied English because I didn't like math. Okay, very good. I like that. I want to say I studied English because I like math. Okay, you represent <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. All right, I feel represented. No problem. Okay, good. Okay, what else? One more, one more. Emma? How about you, Emma? Do you have one? I'm sure you yes. do. Yes. Okay. I, okay. I cleaned my room. Mm, I didn't not copy the class. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. No, it's okay, but you clean the room, okay? I cleaned the room, but I didn't copy the class. Okay, don't worry. Uh, uh, probably Anayansi will send you the notes of today's class. Okay, Anayansi, do you have one? Okay, I work in the morning and I didn't work in tonight. I didn't work tonight. Work. Work tonight. Okay, very good. Now, okay, we have, uh, let me see, three, four, five, 10, 15, 19 people, okay? Now, you're going to tell me a, a verb, okay? I want you to tell me a verb in past tense. It's the verb. Okay, for example, I say uh, work. Okay, has to be a regular verb. Past tense. Okay, regular verb son todos los que llevan de. Por ejemplo, go, no, porque go is when. Uh, for example, you cannot tell me uh, take because the past tense of take is took. Okay. So you're gonna use only regular verb with the pronunciation of P, D. You can use it. 
eh, donde está marcada ya con negrito, ahí están ya las pronunciaciones correctas, right? Correctas. And let me see if I have it here. Okay. Ready? And you can use one of those. Y a donde mando esa hojita? In the WhatsApp. In the WhatsApp group. Es que solo por ahí las puedo mandar. No, si no la puedo presentar. No me ha caído. Están, están, pero esto sí está en el grupo. Yes. No. Ah, ok. Entonces, agregue este. Pero tiene el, tiene el link que le mandaron en el correo. Agregue y lo vuelvo a mandar. Cuando, bueno, agregue y cuando. Sí. Cuando se agregue, no la va a ver porque no va a estar aquí. Ya, pero lo vuelvo, vuelvo. Cuando vea que usted se ha agregado, la vuelvo a mandar. Ok. okay si se agrega ahorita, ahorita mismo se lo mando. Ok. Then, eh, but uh, the problem is que aquí no puedo utilizarla en esta sesión because of the copyrights. You know, me demandan. Okay, so then this is a, a then, but you, but I can I can share with you in the in the in that group, right? So we have this one. It says, uh, well, look at the first one. Is love loves. Okay, then you have, for example, repeated dish light. Okay, uh, I want you to tell me one verb each. Okay. You can choose from that list or you can use one that you already know, okay? But don't repeat the verb, okay? Don't repeat the verb. Pay attention to the verb that the other ones are saying, okay? El que se equivoca escribe 20 oraciones con el verbo que repitió. Ah, como en la escuela, da una plana. Okay, good. I say one verb y luego voy a ir con Mariela, then Jorge, then... Then Ismael, then Jerry, Adrian, Judith, Claudia, Miriam, Evelyn, Elizabeth, and then Haciel, okay, like that. Okay, Mariela, I say worked. Ya nadie puede decir worked. Create. Repeat. Create. Created, uh -huh. Create. in past tense, created, good. Work, created, Jorge. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Very good. Ismael. Mixed. Which one? Mixed. 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 Very good. Mixed. Mixed. Yeah. Mixed. Fleed. Which one? Fleed. Fleed, fleed, fleed. Huir. Okay. How about fled? That's fled. It's a regular bird, okay? But it's past tense. Good. Adrian? Fled. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Dancing. Eh? Dance. 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 Okay. Dance. Claudia? Claudia, tell us one verb. Maybe lost it. Okay. Hey, did it? Like it. Like it. Okay, good. Hey, Miriam? State. State. Okay. State. State. Good. Uh, Elizabeth? Which one? Oh, I cannot hear you.
cannot hear you. Can you repeat it? Played. Played. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, I say, I say, uh, what's up? Okay, good. And Evelyn, get it? Listen it. Okay, listen. Uh, Fernando. Okay. Hello, Fernando. Eh, Fernando Bermúdez, o el otro compañero. El otro no está hoy, por eso. Por eso no le dije Bermúdez. Yes, Fernando Bermúdez. Oh. Yes. The other one. Eh, Tarkin. Which one? Eh, Tarkin. Talk. Uh -huh. Talk. Yes. Eh, Rodrigo. Oh. Status. Uh -huh. Status. Walk. Walk. Rodrigo. Good. Ok, Diego. Ok. Painted. Painted, correct. Emma. Thanks. 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 Uh -huh. Thanks. Well, thank you. Okay, thank you. Natalie? Uh, hope. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Finish. Finish. Yes. Good. Ana Yancy. Finish. No one I can see. Loved. Loved. Okay, very good. Love. Asusena. Okay. Me sacó. Okay, good. Can you hear me now? Okay, Susana. Uh, dressed. Dress. Okay, dressed. That's good. And Claudia, Claudia, you're the last one, but not least. Hi, Claudia. Are you there? Okay. I don't know if uh, she's having issues with the internet again. Okay, good. Well, now look at the page, please. Look at that page that, uh, that you have with the pronunciation of the three forms. Okay, the three ways that we can practice and use the verbs in, in past tense. And look at the first one. The first column, the number one is loved. Okay, loved. The second one is repeated. Okay, number three is wish. Four would be light. Well, in the, in the list, there is a dos. Three, added, added. Four, left. Five, stopped. Six, rubbed. Seven, ended. Uh, eight, mixed. Nine, boxed. A ten cold, cold, steady, steady, 
12 pointed 13 stayed 14 presented 15 married married 16 worked worked 17 dressed dressed a uh, 18 created created 19 talked talked 20 continue 21 played 22 watched 23 paged 24 walked 25 depended, 26 faxed, 27 bugged, bugged, 28 kissed, 29 believed, 30 danced, 31 asked, 32 parted, 33 Dated. 34 decided 35 enjoyed 36 investigated 37 romance 38 dreamed 39 patted 40 waged 41 finished and 42 weighted. Okay, there you have 42 verbs that we can, you know, little by little practice, right? Practice and see the difference. Esto no se aprende de la noche a la mañana, right? Uh, it's something that you need because you have to remember sometimes, right? And then the only way to remember is through practice, okay? Practice in sentences. And with this list, this list can also help you to remember that. Okay. Then let me move a little bit. Now we have to see the past tense of irregular verbs. Okay. Miriam, what is an irregular verb? Do you remember? What is an irregular verb? Uh, irregular verbs uh, are the change, mm -hmm. the base form, the base form. Yes, okay. Those irregular verbs are verbs that change the base form. Example? Give me an example. Uh, uh, um, uh, buy. Buy. Bot. Buy. Buy. Bot. Mm -hmm. Buy. Bot. That's the, the uh, uh, and Bot. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. And Evelyn, you said one, Elizabeth, Evelyn, Elizabeth? One. Uh huh. And the past tense? Swim. Swimming is. For example, you have read, read, write, wrote. By boat. Okay, so these are some of the of the verbs, right? That we have. Okay. Now we're going to watch this video about irregular verbs. Y se llaman irregulares por eso, right? Porque no tienen eh, No sé por qué. 
pero me sigue sacando de la sesión. Ok. Let's see we hope this ends correctly. Ok, good. Now let's listen. Dice que mi conexión es inestable. I don't know what's going on. Probably the winds. Technical issues. Okay, let's see now. Hi, everyone. This class you learn to perform positive and negative statements using irregular words. Let's get started by listening and practicing. So the statements in the past using Oh my God, boys. Okay, something is happening. Ok, ya. O sea, me escuchan, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Yes. No sé qué me está dando problema acá al internet. Yes. Me ha sacado como cuatro veces, so I don't know why. Ok, let's see if we can listen to the video before we go. And hopefully. Using irregular words. Ok. Let's get started by listening and practicing the statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements, 
in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with form and positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these charts, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements had the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement, laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, now if you see, we have the, the let's say the complete map, right, of the verbs in past tense. We can have the regular verbs, and now we have the irregular verbs. Okay, and we also have the the then um, the the structure. If you see, is similar, right? In affirmative sentences, we use the verbs in past tense. For example, if it is work, we change to work. If it is uh, study, we change to study. Now, if it is go, we say when in affirmative sentences. But if it is negative, we say we didn't stay, we didn't study, and we didn't go. Okay, we don't say we didn't win, we say we didn't go. So it's basically the same thing, right? Go in affirmative sentence, went. I went to uh, the store this morning. I went to the church last night. I went to the supermarket this afternoon, okay? And then you say all the sentences that you can. Now, with this verb, now you can tell, for example, the uh, moments or things that you did in the past. For example, you can describe what you did last weekend. What did you do last weekend? Huh? Uh, well, last weekend, I went to the movies. I went to the beach. I stayed home. I, uh, I cooked dinner for my family. I prepared a night lunch. So now you, you can, we can do all this uh, to think and to, to think and pass and to express what we did, okay? So basically that's what we are going to do to, tomorrow, right? Where tomorrow we're going to practice in the, in, the, in the groups, the breakup rooms, okay, in groups, and we're going to make interviews about the past. Okay, what did you do last night? What did you do last weekend? What did you do yesterday morning? I'm, gonna, I'm going to give you some expressions about the past to ask questions, okay? So that's all for today. Lo siento por los inconvenientes del internet, but 
Okay, but I think uh, we finished, right? Thank God. So have a very good night, people, and go to rest. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.